I'm Dan Feehan, Chief Executive Officer of Cash America International. Among other things that we do, Cash America operates the largest chain of pawn shops in the U.S. Now, I would guess the last thing you'd expect me to talk about today is macaroni and cheese. But I've got a bone to pick with my friends at Kraft Food Company. You may have recently seen the new Kraft macaroni and cheese commercial that begun, begins with a small underage girl entering a dark and dingy pawn shop, seeking retribution against her father who's apparently eaten all of her mac and cheese at home. Now this young girl's idea of retribution is to steal her dad's golf clubs and attempt to fence them at the local pawn shop. And from this low point, believe it or not, the commercial descends even further to a scene of the pawnbroker who is obviously devoid of any sense of honor and integrity actually soliciting the young girl for any additional merchandise she may have stolen from her dad. Now I'm sure the big wigs at Kraft and their fancy ad agency view this commercial as cute and creative. But I can assure you that there are millions of pawn shop customers, employees, and business owners throughout this land who fail to see the humor in Kraft's tasteless attempt to peddle more mac and cheese. Now, I don't for a second believe that the good people at Kraft set out to intentionally offend so many people. But at some point, you've got to ask yourself, what in the world were they thinking? I mean, this thing is offensive on so many fronts, it's hard to know where even to begin. Perhaps the most egregious offense was directed at the millions of hardworking, honest, middle-class Americans who use pawn shops for their short-term cash needs to bridge the gap between payday and provide for their families. I know that uh, Cash America has customers who will occasionally stop in our shops on their way to the grocery store to gain a little extra cash to pay for this week's groceries. And I've got to believe at the end of those shopping trips, there's some percentage of the grocery baskets will actually include a box or two of Kraft Mac and Cheese. Now these same people get to go home turn on their television sets, and see Kraft portray them implicitly as thieves trafficking in stolen merchandise. A deeply disrespectful portrayal. And what about all the employees in the 15,000 pawn shops throughout the U.S.? Cash America alone has 7,000 honest, hard-working employees who bust their behinds every day to serve our customers with respect and dignity. Now these people get to go home, turn on their TV sets, and see Kraft portray them as deviant, money-grubbing brokers, also happily trafficking in stolen merchandise. Another hurtful portrayal. You know, there's a widely known fact among pawnbrokers and law enforcement agencies in this country that only a very small fraction of items that enter a pawn shop are ever identified as having been stolen. And this fact is easily verifiable by anyone with interest. But I've got to assume that the people at Kraft didn't want the facts to get in the way of clever Madison Avenue humor. And then there's the whole issue of what sort of message we're sending our children when we make fun of stealing stuff from mom and dad. You know, I just don't get it. Now I'm gonna guess that the people responsible for creating this commercial will view my response there's nothing more than the ramblings of a simple, small-minded guy out in America somewhere who's clearly not sophisticated enough to appreciate their big city creative genius. And while the second part of that is actually true, I may finally suggest that there are a lot of simple people in America who now, having been offended, will be walking down their grocery aisles right past Kraft seeking a different brand of mac and cheese you may think about doing the same thing. Thanks for your time.